You wanna know what we're doing today? We're gonna fix the hole in my boat. Yep. And we're gonna do it with a $30 kit from Amazon. Go, go in the stairs, not a moment I miss. Skipping up under trees, watch them hit it like this. I'm in complete bliss whenever out on the water. Do tube all you want, but no one else go harder. All right, first thing we gotta do is flip this puppy over because the hole is exposed on the bottom of it. Now you might be looking and watching and asking yourself, how the heck did you get a hole in your boat? And the answer is I have no flipping clue. If I knew, I wouldn't have a hole in the boat. Oh God, I'm breaking stuff. All right, let's flip this puppy over. And for those of you wanting to know, it is a Pelican Bass Raider, 10 foot. E. Pelican Bass Raider. All right. We have got this puppy upside down. As you can see, there is one of the holes, and there is another hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a hole inspection just to make sure that there are no, looks like the starting one right there. Do a full inspection, make sure there are no other holes. Make sure we're not taking all water anyplace else. All right, we look pretty good so far. I'm telling y'all, man. So the story with this is my son and I were out on the water. Like we were out, out on the water too, man. And the boat just like started getting real sluggish and wasn't moving the way it should. And uh, something said, hey man, you're taking all water. And we were, yep. Yep, that's a long story short. We were taking on water, buddy. No one else go harder. We move on to the Amazon kit. I tell you, man, this kit was literally about 30 bucks. It was like 20 bucks and some change after tax. But, um, plastic welding reinforcing mesh. Right? This is supposed to be. So the way it's supposed to work is you take this stuff and apply it over the holes that are there, right? It's just a little mesh. And then we, let's open up this guy. So we can expose the contents there within. And we take, I have a little trouble with this. A lot of trouble, it shouldn't be this difficult. I'm gonna need, for the love of God, I hope I don't need this box after the fact. And I think I will. All right, so here's the stuff. It, wait, wait. Okay. All right. There's going to be a bunch of YouTube in as we do this, okay? So just sit back, don't judge me. Here's the little stuff that we're supposed to melt on top of the mesh, right? This is what will actually seal the hole. We melt this on top of the mesh. Here is the little melting stick thing. So we plug this in. I think it's supposed to heat up to like 400 degrees or something like that. And then we take this stuff right because the heat's going to be on the tip of this you take this and like just smear it the black stuff over where's my net yeah we smear the black stuff over the net look guys don't judge me i am trying here right the ultimate goal is to get back on the water and get to fishing so what we're gonna do we're gonna plug this puppy up we're gonna sit and let it heat and while we're doing that we're gonna watch some youtube videos to try and figure out what the heck we're doing okay okay and plug this guy into the extension cord and boom all right now what happens next is this supposed to beep or make some kind of noise or something i don't know but while it's doing that i think we're going to go to youtube to try and figure out our life all right Okay guys, don't blame me. I was sitting here waiting for like 10 minutes. And remember when I first plugged it up, this little light wasn't on? Yeah, I plugged in the extension cord, but I forgot to turn the power drop on. So now that it's on, we're gonna wait another five minutes for it to warm up. Don't blame me, okay? Okay, thank you, bye-bye. So while that's heating up, what I'm gonna do, try to do is smoothing this out by cutting off that top layer. Yeah, there we go. That way when I lay the mesh net on there, 
it'll actually lay over the top of it. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, baby. We are saying goodbye to the holes in the boat. This one is already actually pretty smooth, so I ain't gotta worry about that one. All right. Something's, it's like it's melting the, the rod tip thing, but I don't see how this is gonna keep the mesh knit over it. It's definitely melting the rod tip thing, as it should, because it's like super hot. But I don't see what this is going to do for the hole. Now we're just going to apply it directly to it and see if that makes a difference. I think it is. I really do. Yeah, I think that's better than that net. Because at least this molds right on top of the hole. And it's, you know, directly attached to the boat. Because we see how easily I pull that net off. Once this dries, I can't pull this off. So, it looks like our little third dollar kit has done the trick. However, we won't know for sure until we get this puppy out on the water. Follow me.